Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice balmy 26 degrees out this morning. It's gonna be warm for a few days is what it's looking like. Now we're getting like a polar blast I've been seeing in the forecast. Ooh, some slippery ice from the other day. Not sure if any of you guys have a polar blast coming your way or not. Morning. Let's go, spunky monkeys. Little man, you're fitting right in. Huh. The three amigos. The three amigos, I like it. Just checking out this roof system this morning. We wanna do something like this on our new hay feeder. And the new hay feeder, I wanna go a little bit wider though, so that way when the goats are under there eating, it's not dripping on them if it's raining out. I hear you, Hope. Morning, and the rush is on. <sighs> they all like to fight over the same feed bucket. You know the reason the boys are still so noisy there, Hope? Come on, let's go over here. <laughs> You're driving them crazy. Listen to them. You're welcome, Maggie. Oh, you don't want the one on the Christmas tree? Here comes little P. <laughs> we hear you, Hope. Morning, chicken. You gonna lay some eggs today? You didn't yesterday. What is up with that, huh? Will we get five or six eggs today? Hey, honey, I gotta clip your wings. You keep doing that. Did... Go ahead. There you go. All right, ladies, be fruitful and lay a lot of eggs today. <laughs> Thank you. The plan for the day is to get the roof on the hay feeder and get the hay feeder out in the goat pasture. A lot of y'all are probably thinking, man, that's pretty long. The other hay feeder we have that the boys have is four feet long and it's not, it's just enough for what we have for goats and it's kind of, they kind of fight over it. So this will give them more room and then when we have babies, there'll be more than enough room out in the pasture. And being on skids, we can move it around to different locations so there's not just one spot that's getting heavily used for the feeding. The thing I want to do is I need to cut three of these down to 60 inches. Got a good little warp to it, don't she? She does. 
So we don't want to use that one for our upright. It's got a good twist in it. I feel like sometimes you get them, you look at them, they're straight, and then you get them home and you put them in the heat, and they like to twist up on you. Few more two by fours, get them inside. Alright, so now I need to know what I can do to the bottom to get these to sit flush. I want to go like this. different blade on our jigsaw. This is a scrolling blade, so it's very thin, which to me will bend easy. So let's put on a thicker blade. Nicely over that wire now. Boom, does. We can go one. Let's see if we can copy that for all three of them. Two. I like that. And then. Oops. Let's see. Can we go three? We can. Perfect. I like it. So I'm going to trace and cut that out on these other two. And then we'll be back. All right, so one will go there, one can go here, like so. The one on that end, but first we need to cut two two by fours, 35 inches. We gotta get this tight on both ends. There she goes. Oh, I'm not gonna be like that one. Me too. I was waiting for it. Side spread overnight. That side did not.
you got two shorties. I'm calling shorty. I didn't call you shorty. Shorty. All right. Let's see. Right here. Did I get it? Yeah. All right. So you do want to go underneath? You want me to go underneath? I do not want to go underneath. I'm going to have you hold this. Let's see if I can get this. This is going to be fun. You want me to do it? I don't want to be on the phone. How do you know where you are? I'm going to guesstimate. Oh, it's not even that. I'm gonna have to go longer too. Bummer. All right. So you did pretty good. You didn't get it. I didn't get it. Nope. You have longer ones? I do. I think I'll probably be better off going this way. No, I want to see you get through. I'm not. It's. I can't get the right angle of the dangle. The goal is to get it dragged out and set up today. That's what I hope. Ride the mule? Let's bring it for out in the mule, yep. So that's level. Right there. So we need one cut at 44 and a quarter. What's that? It's kind of that easy. Uh, yeah, I don't have to do it. Balance. When we build it, we build this summer. I'll let you get on the roof. No. Now. We have something to do. What's that? I think we have something. You'll have something to do that day. That one is going to be 47 and a half. Now we'll start making our roof. I'll trade you. Now I want to figure this out. Well, I'm glad you didn't sneeze on me. Well, I was turning away and he talked to me, and I guess.
two more of these and one more of those for now. Red Rover, Red Maybe Rover. Like Send it right over. I was thinking like this. Love it. Perfect. Two, three. Ah. Oh. Oh. I, I don't think I helped. You don't think you helped? It made me feel like I had help and I weren't doing it by myself, so. I did. Gave me extra power. It was not funny, yeah. Uh, a little warm. She's gonna stink, so we'll do it outside. Who do we appreciate? What's that? It's two, four, six, eight. Oh, three, six, nine. There. I like using a fiber wheel or a grinding disc to cut the plastic, it melts it, where if I try cutting it with anything else, I find it just shatters it. Let's 
see how they cover. Oh, we can get it to work. Get it overlapped a little bit. So hopefully, unless the wind's really blowing one direction or another direction, I don't think the rain's gonna be able to get in. We gotta trick the goats so we can get them locked in, so we can get into the pasture without them escaping. So I'm going this way to lock their door. Ha ha, gotcha. This chain comes in handy. The one I got for skinning the pigs is falling. We used it for the smokehouse and yep. And then I put these hooks on, this style hook on, so it kind of locks and it can't fall off. So it works out perfect. snow melted so we can get down this way that's smart thinking what ends up happening with feeding them hay on the ground is they trample on it and then they don't eat it again so we waste so much hay so this feeder should save us a lot in hay a lot of money in hay expense I'll go get the goats. All right, girls, you want to come out and try out your new feeder? Come on. Look what we got down here for you. Come on. Let's go. They can't go off that path. They can't go off that path. No, they can't. Come see what we got. This way. We got you a new feeder. Oh, you gotta sniff it first, huh? What is that, huh? Oh, really? There you go, Hope. That's how you use it.
You'll have it figured out in no time, I bet you. Hope already loves it. Checking out both sides now. That's how you're supposed to use it, Maggie, just like that. Yep, see, perfect. All right, you ready for this next part? That can be right next, kind of close to there. Too. Yep, you've been waiting for this next part since this summer. This summer. Which one you want. These pallets are what our barn kit got shipped in on. sitting here and defrost overnight and tomorrow we'll start taking this apart down to where we need to then we can start building your project the goats were out at the hay feeder just a minute ago yeah. they were you uh, it out? yeah you see the hay feeder no oh no i did i was looking over there, over there when i just came back they were out at the hay feeder eating How many eggs do you think we'll get today? Um, two. Two? Yeah. I'm gonna say five, because that's how many I want. Actually, three. Three? Yeah. All right. Oh, four. What the heck? We were both off. We were both off. You got it. It'll be nice once the egg production starts picking back up. I wonder how many we'll get then. 10, 12? You ladies coming? This is where your hay is. I'm not bringing out any more. You got all this hay to eat. I see goat prints everywhere. I barely see any hay on the ground. Barely. You liking the new feeder? Look at that willow, it's perfect for you. <laughs> you want some eggs? I don't think goats like to eat eggs, do they? Okay. What do you think, Blossom? Hello, where they all go? Oops, Hope likes it. Hey, little P. You want to come over and say hello? Hello. Even Maggie. Oh, you want some eggs? You like your new feeder? Come here, little P. Oh, little P, little P. What are you going to do when you're as big as your mama there? Hope says you're in my space. He's like, I'm just trying to get some hay there. What are you looking at there, Buttercup? <laughs> Do you see Figaro on the goat mountain? Come here, get it, get it, get it, get it. I know. You seem to be loving it, Hope. Awesome possum. Oh, little P. Oh, we've had this design in our head for a while, trying to work out the kinks. I'm thinking it's going to work out really good. We'll have to see how it is over the next few days while the goats get used to it, but... Man, I'm excited about it already. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.